<laughs> Hello everybody, welcome to Obscurities and Miniatures. I am High Lord Tamerlane and this is a cardboard box. Not just any cardboard box, it's one of the new Kingdom Death Monster High, Death High, I forget which it is, models. This is one of their photo resin models and it is not Wilma from Scooby-Doo, it's actually the Death High Archivist. As much as she looks like a Scooby-Doo character. So, as always, you get the little trading card. See, Death High Archivist, not Monster High. That would be the weird, long-legged CG models that my daughter was always into. Very bookwormish. Perfect for an illiterate bookworm like me. Better look at the full art. If I can fit it all on the screen. I like that she's got the Kingdom Death High thing on her bag there. And let us see what we got in the bags. Bags inside of bags. One nice thing about these Death High models is they're nice and thick and not tons and tons of parts. Now, I've mentioned this before in my other videos on this, and in case you've never watched them for some reason, shame on you. Uh, most of the Death High models are these photo resin models, meaning they're actually 3D prints from a 3D printer with resin, obviously. So if you've never experienced working with a 3D print, you do need to have a little bit of cleanup where all these little gates are, even though they're not in focus there. So there is a bit more cleanup than your typical resin model. I'm assuming that's her backpack like that. Yes, and it looks like it's just gonna be the head in here. Let's find out. Does she have her glasses fully formed? Oh, I dropped something. A skinny piece of something, which I'm assuming is Flash. Her other hand with a book. I'm gonna have to write words in junk in there. That's not gonna be fun. If I can get it in focus. And her head. And she does have her glasses, and she's got a little bit of a goatee of print cleanup junk there. So I'm going to get the clippers and the knife. We're going to clean this lady up, put her together, and see how she stacks up to some other Kingdom Death models. All right, everybody, we got our Death High Archivist all finished up. A little bit of cleaning still, but... For the most part, she's done. I gotta say, I really like this model. She goes really well with the new Hospitaller model in that she's actually pretty well clothed. Quite more so than most of the other Death High models so far. But she's just a fun looking anime trope. I mean, she's got the glasses, the books. She's got like pencils sticking in a little pouch there. I like her oversized shoes. She's got the little... I'm surprised she doesn't have the knee high socks. But, you know, I like the, the sleeves over her fingers like that. Definitely a cool little kit, and then the other backpack sitting on her base, and I hadn't noticed this at first. Obviously, that's the wrong side, but we have, naturally, the mask there in need of a little bit of cleaning, too. There's just a lot of fun details with these Death High models, and I think, you know, you could probably get away with using her as a mage in just about any other RPG tabletop game. I'm thinking I might be doing that. We've often talked about running another all Kingdom Death model Frostgrave Warband, and I think I've got myself a nice either mage or uh, apprentice here. How does she stack up to some of the other models in the line? She's not very cooperative about standing up on her own yet. Oh, I need to clean up the bottoms of her shoes. They're a little bit better, I think. Come on. All right, there we go. So grabbing another Death High, oh, dude. Oh my God. I'm gonna sit here and fiddle with it for 20 minutes now. Anyway, so here's another Death High resin model, photo resin model, the Twilight Nine you can see here, pretty similar in scale. I grabbed some of the other newer Kingdom Death models. This is the Bullet Dancer, I painted poorly, so get over it, but See, she's a little bit taller. I don't know if that's just her or all of her crazy motion going on with the model there. She is a little bit taller than a typical Warhammer figure, though. So, bear that in mind. I'm grabbing a Raging Heroes model. Again, still a little bit taller. We got Malifo. Might make a good Hannah or something. An old Perdita with a broken pistol. No. Monster Hunter, there we go. So yeah, just bearing in mind that Kingdom Death models tend to be a little bit on the tall side. 
but overall cool little kit and the nice thing with these photo resin models is they do come back in stock regularly so if you see one of these dev high models that i've talked about before keep checking back with the store don't go paying those outrageous ebay prices because honestly and truly you can get her for a regular price and it wouldn't surprise me if there was a big gen con sale or black friday sale where she shows up as well who knows only Adam Poots knows. Hospital would it stand? I guess let's see. I think they kind of complement each other nicely there. Fun models. Check up Kingdom Death. See what's on sale. And I will see you all later. This is Hyler Tamerling with Obscurities and Miniatures saying bye-bye.